All right, how you doing everybody? Uh, my name is Ben Barsa, and I'm here to introduce Fodery. So e-commerce is one of the fastest growing market segments, um, but people still need to go to the store to really look at a product, which is why a lot of purchasing is still being done in the store. Now, there's two reasons for this. One, when you look at something online, you can get a good feel for the size, what it really looks like close up, and all the angles. And the second issue is every website has their own photographer, their own graphic designer, they're doing their own editing, their own color values, which means there's no real standard for e-commerce and quality photography. So I want to show you guys Fodery. This is the solution to the problem. Um, Fodery is the photo booth over there. In this video, you can kind of see what's going on. So the object's placed on the rotary table. It's incrementally rotated, and the camera's triggered to snap a shot um, between each increment of the rotation. Now, um, once the job is started, the object's placed, and the camera does all of it in about one minute. The photos are uploaded to the cloud. Because we have locked down the camera type, lighting type, and all the positioning of the camera, we can edit everything on the fly and optimize all the photos. Um, so it's basically an inverted uh, panorama viewer that we've created. So here in the video, you see that the camera, uh, there's some cables connecting that to an Arduino board, which is connecting that to the servo triggering the rotation, as well as the computer giving all the commands. Uh, now ideally, and we've already tested this, you can do all of this with an iPhone and produce pretty much almost the same quality as DSLRs because the biggest difference between a DSLR and an iPhone is really lighting. And because we have lighting within the booth, it can produce extremely high quality with an iPhone. So, I'll tell you a little bit about where we're trying to go with this. Um, really the future for as we see it is first you need to establish a standard. Once you have a standard, then you can automate all the other processes, and these are now software issues. So, for example, because we know the camera position, we know the object size. We can also figure out the weight with a small module, and this means we know exactly what the shipping costs are. Now imagine you could use a connect to display your hand size on that object, and you could exactly see on your screen what this object would be size-wise in your hands. Um, basically, it's really about creating a platform. There's a limitless ideas that you can grow on this platform, and that's what we want to do. Um, we have a variety of customer segments. So one market strategy would be to place this in every FedEx, Office Depot, and things like that. If you are somebody who wants to sell something on eBay or Zarly or any other marketplace, you can go there. You don't have to fiddle around at home with your small photo tent and crappy photos. You go there, you pay $2. You have a 360 degree photo, high quality, commercial break. Uh, there is also a second market strategy. Uh, I've had a lot of experience in the fashion industry. And, hello. <laughs> um, and uh, there's about 300 showrooms in downtown LA in a one block radius. These 300 showrooms represent about 2,000 brands internationally and nationally. And placing our booth there will give brands the ability to do photography on their own terms on their own schedule, and the showroom owners would love it. They could easily push this. It would reduce a lot of friction between products being shipped back and forth for samples, <coughs> showing the retailers, colors not coming out right in photographs, and really optimize the process. So, talk a little bit about the team. Uh, we have five team members. Three of us were here, two of us work remotely. Um, Annie Ruth, he's a backend architect. Steve over here did the robotics, and he's also a software engineer. Uh, Cameron to my right, electrical engineer and software engineer. Aggie did the UI, UX, and graphic, and myself on the business side, graphic, and I have industrial design experience. So that's really our product. 